a superb whiskey. But is it worth $170? Let's find out. Welcome to another episode of Airquay Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of the Talisker 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey. An absolutely superb whiskey. But before I get into this, here are my notes. Talisker 18 year old is from the Isle of Skye. It's aged at least 18 years in ex bourbon and ex sherry cast. It's bottled at 45.8% alcohol by volume. Sells for anywhere between 128 and 178, mostly in the $170 category uh, in California. But prices may vary depending on where you live. Alrighty, so I do not know if it has any added coloring or any chill filtering. I suspect it at least has a little bit of uh, coloring, pretty consistent with some other Taliskers like exact same color bottle to bottle to bottle whether you're talking about the, the 10 year old or you're talking about uh, the 57 north they all kind of look exactly the same i find that a little bit unusual it seems to be artificial that they would adjust things to, to get everything to be the exact same color nevertheless no offense to me i think it's an absolutely superb whiskey despite the fact that they are not 100 percent uh transparent either on the website on the bottle or anywhere else and it's a little difficult finding information on that but Typically, if they don't say it's unchill filtered, then it's got some filtering. If they don't say it's natural color, then it probably isn't natural color. But anyhow, it, it, even if it isn't natural color, it's got a nice golden color to it. Not that it necessarily means anything, but it has added coloring in it. Usually that kind of coloring would come from a lot of age, a lot of extraction from uh, oak. On the nose, Medium plus intensity of dried peaches, maybe a little bit of dried pear. There's a little saltiness there. Immediately what kicks in then is a, a little bit of anise or black licorice, black pepper, vanilla, baking spices, toffee, lighter caramels, and just a hint of salty sea breeze. All right, on the palate. Wow. The notes, in terms of aromas and flavors, the, the, on the palate, the nose is confirmed, right? Get the tallies, uh, uh, toffee, dried peaches, stone fruits, maybe some dried apple, dried pears, a little bit of toffee, caramels, vanilla, baking spices. It's not a major black licorice note. It's not like, so if you don't like black licorice note, it's not going to offend you. Just a little bit of that anise black licorice note going on there. And that sort of Tasker classic profile of just like a spot of pepper shows up on mid pot. It's got a real nice transitions, mostly a dried uh, fruit up front. There's a little bit of sweetness as you start going into the middle, you get the baking spices, vanilla, caramels, toffee, and then the, the black pepper and uh, black anise or black licorice uh, shows up on the back end and kind of lingers. But what really, really, really sells this whiskey is the texture, is the texture. So if you've had the 10 year old, the, uh, this is a 200, uh, yeah, 200 milliliter uh, bottle of the Talisker 10 that I got from this gift pack that comes with a bottle of uh, the distiller's edition as well as the uh, Talisker North. I, uh, I did a live video in which I opened these up. Uh, great little gift packs, find them around Christmas time, but you can still find them on the shelves uh, afterwards. I paid 55 bucks for these three. Great deal, I mean, just for the three of these, great samplers. I like them better than the little minis. The little minis, you don't really, I, I don't think you have enough interaction with just the little minis, but a 200 milliliters works really, really well. Did some side-by-side -side comparison between the 10-year-old and the 18-year-old. Essentially, and I like, I like the 10-year-old. The 10-year-old goes for about, depending on where you live, about $70 in my neighborhood. On average, in my neighborhood, this is about $170. So there's about a $100 difference between the 10 and the 18. And, and of course, there's eight years difference. And when you compare the aromas and the flavors between the two, it's probably like 
one of the best examples of what time does to a whiskey of maturation because they have the same ABV, they have the same uh, process in which they're made. It's time, it's maturation that's making the difference. And it really, 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 really shows up the most in the texture, in the mouthfeel. Don't get me wrong, I like the 10 year old. I think it's a great whiskey uh, uh, for, for a 10 year old. But this is really a whiskey coming in into its own. It's maturation, becoming an adult. You know, getting getting past pre-puberty into adulthood and really showing itself really, really well. Really showing uh, the potential of what the whiskey could truly become when you're going from the 10-year-old to the 18-year-old. This is a superb whiskey. Really, really, really like it. I'm talking right now. I'm still tasting it right now. It's got a real nice long finish. So not only in terms of the development, the depth of flavor, the mouthfeel, it's... It's got power and strength to it, but there's also a delicate gracefulness to it. It has some uh, delicate natures to it. It has a lot of finesse, not a word that I use a lot around uh, about whiskeys. And it has a silky, velvety, sort of a seductive mouthfeel. And that's really, 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 really uh, what maturation, what time has done uh, to this whiskey. It is absolutely superb. Where well, I'm going to go in terms of score, I'm going to go... Uh, uh, I'm going to go 94 points, 94 points, which for me, is, that's really, really, really high. What is selling it is uh, the complexity of flavors, the mouthfeel, and the development. It is a superb whiskey, potentially on my top 10 for 2021. I know it's, we're still early in the year, but it's potentially among my top 10 for 2021. This is an absolutely superb whiskey. Now the price, the price. We're jumping a hundred dollars from the 10 to the 18. And that is really, uh, is where I think the debate is. There's no debate over the quality of this whiskey. The debate is quality price ratio and the amount that you're paying and what other whiskeys are there in this price category and how is it going to compete, all right? Another note I should have mentioned, and I'm still getting it now, there is this whiff of smoke. This is not, you know, an, you know, you know, Southern Island type of smoke or even a lot of other Highland uh, smoke. It is well integrated and it's just, um, makes its presence known, but it's almost an afterthought. It's not a big punch in the face of peat and smoke, but it's definitely there. Qualitatively, I mean, it's just, it's an accent. It's a nice accent to the whiskey. So, is it worth the extra hundred bucks? This is the challenge as a reviewer of making your recommendation of spending that kind of money due to you know, having to know your audience and what they, you know, and, and this and difficult, challenging economic times that we're in. I'm gonna say this. If you got the money, you're doing well, you're looking for something a little extra special, and you can afford to pay the money, I'm gonna say yes, pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. I, I would, then I'm gonna say absolutely yes, it's worth that. I've actually seen 200, this bottle going for $200 online, searching around online. But if you can get it for 170 and less, I'm gonna say yes, $200, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go $200. But $170 and less than that, even uh, one shop down in Los Angeles had it for like $128. That, if you can find it for $128, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't even hesitate. I would jump on it. Get past $150, it gets a little bit more tricky. So, if you can afford it and you've got the money to blow on a high-end whiskey, this is a premium whiskey. And I would say, I would highly recommend it. If that is going to make you pain, you know, feel some pain, and, and you know, spend that kind of money on a whiskey, then I'd say, you know what? Um, I think there are a lot of other whiskeys that you'd be just as happy with for a far less, for far less. But Talisker, and this is the killer, is Talisker has such a unique, distinctive profile. You're not going to find something comparable to it anywhere else. 
oh, you buy this for less. It's just like Talisker, but for less. It, I, I've never run across anything else like Talisker uh, that's going to be the similar for less. There are less expensive Islas. You know, if we're talking about an expensive art bag that I can rent, there are less expensive, uh, even Highland peated whiskeys or Sherry cast whiskeys that I can, uh, you know, recommend more than the, you know, upper echelon, Sounder Sand Drive $200 whiskeys. But this has such a unique character. I don't know of anything out there that's anything like it. So, alrighty. Uh, if you like watching my reviews, but you've not yet subscribed, I want to ask that you subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I go live, or I post a new video. And if you are one of my patrons, I want to thank you very much. All right, until next time, cheers.